Hey, what's up? I stack the Tron here from Clash of Clans Manual. Here with another, I guess you could call it a war recap video. I'm uh, recapping the scrimmage that just happened uh, between mostly One Hive Genesis. It kind of split into two clans. Although I'm pretty sure there was people from probably One Hive Alpha or some of the other family clans that were in it. Uh, but just taking a look at it, um, just went into two clans. I uh, just made them real quick and had them match up. Uh, all the war weights were even. I was on one hive yellow, and then we faced off against one hive black. Um, taking a look at the war, the rules were no scout attacks, so no town hall eights could hit like higher up just to see where all the traps were for the next person to attack, and no dropping down, so a town hall nine can't clean up a town hall eight, and the town hall tens can't clean up uh, the town hall nines on the other side. So. Those were the rules, just to make it fair, keep it fun. Um, not that serious of a war, just trying to test out our bases and see uh, how good we are at attacking, kind of test those skills. Um, and it was a really fun experience. So a uh, 20v20 war, uh, I actually didn't quite get three-starred, got attacked a couple times, uh, but a few things failed on each attack. And then also Bigatroth or was the other Town Hall 9 that survived. And our 8s did a great job because... Uh, it looks like four of them were left, uh, not three-starred. Uh, remember, that only their eights had a chance to attack, so they really ate up all the attacks from the other side. Um, and obviously not all the attacks were used. Their Town Hall 10 didn't attack. Uh, we weren't really going for the win on either side. It was more just try to get the three-star on your own individual attack, see how your base works, and help other people uh, with their attacks. So we actually cleaned up everything except seven, I've, oh, seven and twelve. Left those two bases two starred, but the difference was all of the town hall eights were cleaned up. Um, their eight struggled with our bases, so uh, good experience for everyone. We're gonna look at a few attacks on each side actually, um, and I did have a six star war on. I got two and four, but I'm actually not gonna show those. I'll do, I'll do that in a different video because uh, it's kind of a strategy I want to talk about a little bit more. But just for this recap, I'll show some of the other attacks, um, starting with Jelly taking on number three. Um, so he's going to come in here on the right with kind of a golem, I think a three golem kill squad. Uh, so drops down the max golem and then a few of his own. Uh, going to come in there. His goal is basically to get, I believe, three of the air defenses and then, or two of the air defenses at least, and then send some hogs in to get the other two at the top and use balloons on the rest of the base. All right, so queen uh, backing everything up, dropping some wall breakers. Uh, funnels made nice and wide by the wizards. Um, everything's rerouting back in. Um, now he's going to drop the jump in just a moment. That'll connect all the way to the queen, uh, just barely. Could have been a little bit higher up, but it gets the job done. Uh, King's making his way on in. And uh, you can see a lot of Teslas popping in this area, but I think everything's focused on the golems. Uh, Hound in the CC, that's going to distract the queen for a while. Um, but the king's still moving forward. Drops another rage to keep everything moving. Uh, keep the king doing a lot of damage. Pops the Queen's ability just to finish off that Hound, and the Pups are going to run around a little bit, uh, but not doing too much damage. Already starting in with the Balloons on the bottom. Uh, those Wizard Towers are distracted by the Golemites, uh, so that works out pretty well. And then in just a moment, he'll start in with the Hogs at the top to get those remaining air defenses. His two finger drops them on in, has that heal. Uh, you can see those Lava Pups are still up. The Queen kind of got landlocked, so they're actually going to do some work on his troops for right now. Uh, but the hogs making their way through. Uh, first air defense goes down. The queen's actually going to step up and take the second one down. And now it can start in with the balloons all around the base, uh, using the haste to keep them moving. Doesn't even really need it, though. Um, some more hogs hit a giant bomb, uh, but still has a few left. And just those lava pups are the only thing left. Actually, that one pup is going to just be a nuisance for the rest of this attack. Uh, but has a pretty spread out cleanup, a wizard giant at the bottom, and then another wizard making its way up top. Queen is still up. A few hogs, a few balloons. We'll fast forward because it's over. That pup is going to do some damage, uh, but that wizard takes it down, and then the rest of these uh, buildings go down for the three stars. So nice attack to Jelly, uh, getting the job done on this base. Alrighty. Let's keep going and look at five. We have Nihar, Nihar, Nier. I don't, not exactly sure how to pronounce it, uh, but an awesome attack. Using a couple Valks, which um, I think worked really well this war. 
Uh, I know I used them, and I think a lot of people, other people did. So uh, I love seeing Valks at Town Hall 9. Anyway, though, starts in with a golem. Just going to tank for all the, that point defense in the area. And then uh, another golem coming in with that uh, mortar, dropping wizards, minions, uh, making that funnel nice and wide. And then I actually was helping him plan this. We wanted to bust those wall breakers uh, and get that wizard compartment open as well. But those wall breakers get shot down. So only actually gets into that one compartment uh, with the expo. But it gets the cannon down. That other golem reroutes back in. So everything actually works out pretty nicely. Sends in the Valks, the king. Um, and then a jump spell. Poison for the CC. Maybe a tad late in the poison. But it doesn't matter. His queen, his Valks are doing work on the CC troops either way. Uh, like that hog there. Just gonna, looks, I think that gets the, yeah, it gets the trade there. Just barely. Uh, giant bomb goes off. But... Not that big of a deal for his Valks. They're going to keep working their way through. I think he drops a heal for them to keep them moving. Uh, take out both the enemy heroes. And then starting in with the Hogs, just surgical on the bottom. Uh, I don't... Well, I mean, I think that actually was a good heal. Sometimes I'm, like, a little bit critical of super early heals because you kind of waste some of the time that your Hogs could be standing in it. But it looks like it worked out there because he wanted to pre-heal for all those Teslas that were popping right there. So good heal there, then another good heal up on the top left there. Uh, keep those hogs moving, and then the other hogs are going to get in it. So all his hogs are going to get the benefit of that heal, which is great. And then they'll go over take out those last few defenses. I believe all the giant bombs are taken care of. Um, queen goes down, but still has a lot of cleanup troops. Has those wizards. Um, his own king is still up kind of on a wall here. And we'll fast forward because it does take a little bit of time, uh, but the wizards are going to bust in at the bottom. And those hogs getting everything up top. So nice attack to uh, Nihar, uh, Nair getting the three star. I uh, can't remember if this was the first hit or not, but either way, it was a great attack. Um, last one we're going to look at on this side, then we'll switch over to some of One High Black's attacks, is um, Peeled. Peeled. <laughs> Having trouble with some of the names, uh, but whatever his name is, a great attack, however you want to say it. Uh, sending in some hogs, going to take out the mortar and the cannon, so big investment, I think he's using uh, looks like a group like 10 hogs or so, plus a heal spell, so really investing in these hogs, they have to deal with the king, Send, even sends in three more, basically what he's doing is he's going to get that double giant bomb set triggered, um, he gets some skeleton traps too, and then a single bomb up top, so getting three bombs, sea sealer, both skeletons, uh, just huge value, even if he did have to sacrifice um, I don't know, 12 hogs or so, plus a heal. Uh, drops the poison, then I'll take out the skellies. Then he's going to go ahead and bring the hound over to the side. So this was a cleanup attack, obviously, because uh, he knew where the bombs were and knew what was in the CC. Just going to do the old trick with the archers and the healer. Uh, so that'll keep the hound occupied over there. Um, then back up top, starting him with just a one golem kill squad, dropping some wizards to create his funnel. Um, he'll drop a jump in just a moment. And then the king right behind it. And I'm just going to take out the enemy queen. I think that's the only purpose. Get the queen in a few defenses. Uh, and do some tanking because the hogs are going to be coming in for in just a moment. Um, king's going to lock on right. Or actually the wizard locks on then the king. Yeah, king comes over, takes the queen out. Um, still working their way through, taking out defenses. Uh, only level 15 heroes, but they're definitely doing a good job. Now just coming in with a few surgical hogs up top. It uh, doesn't need a whole lot to take out that one section. Then comes heavy at the bottom. Uh, Tesla pops. He has a heal for that area. Actually has two heals. So probably could have got away with one here. Uh, but that Tesla farm does pop. So I guess uh, second heal helped. He'll drop it in just a moment. And Queen is also up top. So I think she takes out the enemy king in just a moment. And then his king is going to beat his way in and kind of help with cleanup. Because all these defenses are pretty much down. Last heal goes down uh, just to make sure those hogs are at full health uh, for when they have to deal with the enemy king because he actually walks over and is going to start beating on some hogs. Uh, but has wizards all around the base. That uh, Lava Hound still at half health. Uh, so just awesome attack. Uh, getting the three star. Nice job, man. Uh, keep it up. And last few buildings will go down. We'll fast forward. The queen shoots the king down. And then this that town hall and uh, drill will do it. So... Now we're going to switch over to <clears throat> uh, the One Hive Black attacks, uh, taking a look at a few of our bases that got wrecked, and starting off with Thor on Jelly. Uh, so, looks like he's just doing a uh, stoned Goho. 
a uh, pretty good investment with those high level heroes to use three golems. Really going to let them get deep into the base. So starting down with some golems uh, just for that side of uh, defenses. And then some wizards. Nice wide funnel. Uh, that's always safe to do. And then in just a moment he's going to wall breaker in yeah, right here. Come the wall breakers. And I, I, think, I don't know. I actually didn't see how many wall breakers he had. If he had a fail or not. But somehow the wall didn't get busted open. I didn't. It looked like he only had two with maybe a test wall break. I'm not sure. Uh, but the queen actually beats through the wall, so everything's good. Golems uh, actually don't get out in front, and that expo locks onto the queen. So he actually has to use her ability to keep her going. Uh, but drops the rage, dropping some more wizards. Uh, that's One thing I like is those wizards do so much damage, and you already have the golems. Might as well invest you know, eight troop space and get two more wizards in there, because they're really going to uh, help your troops move quicker. Uh, whereas if it's just your heroes... I mean, they do pretty solid damage if they're high level, but still, wizard, uh, just a few wizards uh, backing up your kill squad is always a good investment, in my opinion. Uh, so dropping the heal down for those Teslas, all those defenses clumped up and uh, over that giant bomb, so it gets pretty good value out of that heal. Uh, queen still up, working, taking out some more buildings, and then the hogs just making their way through. Has a huge wad of hogs left, um, standing in that last heal. They're going to be full health, and they have to deal with these last uh, four point defense. Uh, I think the king or the archer tower took the queen down, so getting a little bit low on cleanup, but still has the some wizards that he started at the bottom. Uh, that one golem stranded, and then uh, just the hogs up top. It has a huge uh, bunch of them, and as soon as they take down that mortar, uh, they're going to turn around and take out the king. So that'll basically do it. Just going to clean up from here. A uh, nice attack to Thor getting the three star on our number two jelly. Alright, fast forward, then those last few go down. Uh, enough time to get the three star. Alright, last one we're going to look at is this was a really nice attack. I liked it. Um, six, double or seven, taken out uh, Professor MD. And I believe. Uh, a few people were getting a little bit, uh, you know, because he was told, I think, like, you know, watch for those dragons because his queen is pretty exposed on the top right. Uh, so definitely a learning experience for Professor MD. Uh, probably should change his base, uh, maybe add another layer of wall, set that queen back a little bit more. But something because the queen uh, can basically target anything up at the top there. Uh, anyway, though, I'm going to show uh, what's going on at the bottom right now. Uh, drops a golem, some wizards to create the funnel, and then wall breakers in. Uh, poison for the CC troops, and then rage. Plus a heal, so investing a lot of spells into just the golem and the heroes. Um, and they're going to basically take out all the CC troops. Then they're going to step up, going to let the king just kind of beat through a wall. And then the queen has access to two air defenses. So just for the price of a golem and some spells, uh, gets both those air defenses, plus his heroes are still at full health. And they're going to start taking out some Teslas over there. And then, like I said, just two dragons, the queen immediately locks on and uh, goes down. Now starting in with uh, just balloons everywhere. Uh, I think both his, or his queen's still up, uh, doing some tanking for those Teslas. And then uh, haste spells to keep those balloons moving, uh, take out those air defenses. That one air defense is going to kind of struggle for a little while, uh, but has another haste and then just a huge group of balloons left over. So a really nice attack I liked. Um, the suicide dragons, because typically you see that with uh, hog attacks just to take out the queen, and then the kill squad sets off some giant bombs. But in this attack, just using the dragons to take out the queen, and then they can do some tanking, take out some more buildings, uh, while the rest of the troops kind of make their way around, makes it so he can just focus his uh, kill squad on two air defenses, which are really close together, and get them pretty cheaply. So this nice attack has a ton of troops up, still has that dragon. Uh, pups, and then a few cleanup troops plus his queen. So, awesome attack to double row seven. Sorry if I, I did a poor job sc scrolling around to show that, but hope you kind of like the attack either way. Um, that's gonna do it for what I'm gonna show for this war recap. Um, great job to both clans. Obviously not the most competitive war. Uh, we were just trying to test out some bases. I think some people actually helped uh, have their bases wrecked, like gave advice on where to attack them from. Uh, just mainly a base testing war and also just a, a chance to hit some good anti-three-star bases because a lot of times in 
normal wars, you don't see that. So not an arranged matchup, more just a scrimmage um, from the One Hive Genesis family. Um, but that's going to do it for this recap. I think I'm also going to record uh, my attack strategy I've been using that I've had some success with. And you'll probably see some attacks from this war that I'm using. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later. Bicectatron out.